I'd like to ask you about meditation. Oh, okay. For, because I don't think everybody meditates and it's, I think it's hugely important. So mm -hmm. how does the common person start? Where do they start? What does meditation look like? Oh boy. Well, it's, you have to be sitting in the lotus position and you are not moving for an hour and your mind is closed and everything is off. You have eyes closed. You don't move. That's what you are thinking that meditation is. Yeah. I could be walking down the streets of Los Angeles meditating. I was on in meditation with automatic weapons, hand grenades, and plastic explosives. The mind is either your best friend or your worst enemy. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. And I'm asking everybody on your call. Have you ever in school, in a school classroom, ever been taught how to concentrate? Or have you just been told to? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So I used to teach teachers in Los Angeles Unified School District a course for professional development called Peak Performance Practices for Sports, excuse me, for Academics and Sports. That was the title. I, des I taught one week uh, practice, hold your left hand facing you elbows near your side so it's not too far away. You take your right forefinger and you put it at the base of your little finger. And as you breathe in, you move up. As you breathe out, you move down. As you breathe in, up. As you breathe out, down. We're gonna go across the fingers and we're gonna pay attention to the space between the breath, where the breath merges and where the breath emerges, emerges and emerges. That space where the breath is paused is the place where your thoughts come from and go to. And you do this at your rate, not at my rate. So I teach this to the class one week and the next week a teacher comes back and she was a kindergarten teacher. And she comes back and she says, the kids love it. They call it roller coaster fingers. So I got the title, roller coaster fingers, as it's titled in the book. And this was years ago that I did that. But this practice can also get what they call a mantra, or in psychology, they call it a Q word. Because it doesn't have to do with any religion. It has to do with the idea of concentrating the mind as well as the breath. When we say hum as you breathe in, and so as you breathe out, hum as you breathe in, and so as you breathe out, when the mind calms down to one chosen thought, the heart rate calms down. When the heart rate calms down, the brain waves calm down. And the breath calms down. It's both. It's like burning a candle at both ends. So this is the easiest way to meditate that I know. Now, hamso in Sanskrit means I am that. So again, it takes that idea of physics into reality because there's nothing that is not energy 